What's up, it's Beefle Flex, and I'm going to address some haters. I've tried to simply block, delete, and ignore haters, but at this point, I want to make some things clear. I'm going to talk about my 90 status, my Photoshop accusations, accusations of copying Team 3D Alpha, and the Bioneer, along with my take on criticism. I'm going to start with my take on criticism. If you give me advice and genuine and helpful criticism, I will read your comment and apply what you say. If you make a stupid lie and accusation, I will simply delete your comment. However, if the accusation is made by enough people, I may take time to respond to at least one to make it clear. Not because I pick and choose arguments I can win, but simply because I get so much positivity I don't get to focus on that I don't want to give my attention to needless hate. I used to respond, but enough genuine people have told me that it isn't wise and just to focus on the positive. But at this point, I'm going to make this clear. So, first up, natty or not, I am natural. I didn't stunt my growth with steroids. I'm 5'9 because of my genes, not drugs. My dad is 5'7 or 5'8 and my mum is 5'1 or 5'2. Besides two male family members, the majority of the men in my family, so cousins and uncles, are 5'7 or below. Alongside that, my grandmother and great-grandmother on my mother's side were both below 5 feet. Being tall is not in my DNA. If I was tall, it would be at random. And besides, I am average height between 176 now and 177 some mornings. So just to put that out there, I have no interest in taking drugs for health reasons and because I want to reach my natural genetic limit. Question my 90 status all you want, but the truth is I am natural. Do you really think I would take steroids just to look like this? I don't even train for looks, I train for ability. On top of that, if I was on steroids, I would be way better than I am now. No cap, I'm a West African descendant. We have sensitive androgen receptors. If I took androgenous hormones, I would blow up. You would see the drastic difference. My physique from when I was 17 till now isn't vastly different, nor my physique from when I was 15. Guys, I look like this at 10. My genetics when it comes to building muscle are clearly good. If you still doubt me and want me to take blood work, are you mad? You want me to put a needle in me just to prove what is already obvious. Now I might do that one day, but I'm not going to go through the hassle now. Unless you pay me, you can't make such requests. Now, do I photoshop my pictures? No. The picture this is based on is the one of me from when I was 15. Basically, there's a dip in the couch where my leg is located, which some think is because of Photoshop. But let me show you guys the couch so that you can understand. There are two pouches, and if you put something in between the separation, it will look like there is one long and deformed pouch. That's why it may seem photoshopped, but I assure you it isn't. If I had a time machine, I would tell 15 year old me to have a different background for the picture. I know some accusations were actually genuine because I even received a genuine DM about this on IG. So I thought I'd make this clear. Now, do I copy Team 3D Alpha and the Bioneer? Let's start with Team 3D Alpha. In case you don't know this guy, he is a fitness YouTuber. One of the things he is known for are his videos on genetics. That's how I came across him. I watched his video on black genetics and decided to make a video based on it. Was that video a copy? Pretty much. I thought his information was good and wanted to portray it to as many people as possible with better presentation. I saw the video and backed up research to make sure his facts were true and found that they were true. My intention was not to profit off him, but simply to share it to as many people as possible since his presentation wasn't the most engaging. No disrespect. Also, there is a lie that has been told about slavery being the reason for black success in sport. So I wanted to make a video to reach as many people as possible so that more people could know the actual reason. I'm not saying slavery didn't affect anything, just not sports. Now, when I made this video, I wasn't looking to profit. I wasn't even monetized. I simply wanted to spread the message as far as I could. I credited Team 3D Alpha in my description box at the end of the video and in the pinned comment. I even wanted to DM him for a heads up, but couldn't find an Instagram. Regardless, at the time, I saw nothing wrong with it. It wasn't about money, it was about the message. Since then, I posted the same video on TikTok without crediting Team 3D Alpha, assuming that people would visit my YouTube and see the credit there. So a lot of people checked me on it and I realized that it wasn't the best move. And in hindsight, I wouldn't have even made the video full stop. I thought about deleting it, but the amount of people learning from it is truly amazing. And as I said, it's about the message. Anyway, 
I have since received many requests to make more videos concerning other races, but said no because of the racism on TikTok and because I thought this to be Team 3D Alpha's niche and I didn't want to intrude. Hence why my video, The Role Race Plays in Genetics, was made way after my Black Genetics Explained video. Now, so many people were making genuine requests at this point, so I decided to make a video covering the main performers in sport along with their highly requested ones. I had to be smart though. I decided not to watch any videos on the topics besides one video made by North O2 about East Africans, where I got the persistence hunting theory from. Besides that, I told myself to only look at written sources so that I didn't copy or sound like a copy of anyone else, especially Team 3D Alpha because I respect this channel a lot. So I do all of my research, all of which is linked in the description box and made my video myself. The only thing I used of Team 3D Alpha was the factors of money and culture. I saw him use this structure type thing with his black genetics video and thought it was a smart take. I didn't watch his videos and condense them into my own. In fact, since receiving accusations, I have now watched his video on Polynesians and Europeans slash Asians and I've reached the conclusion that our videos are not similar. That's why I delete any accusation. Because if you watch my video through and watch his videos all the way through, you will see that our videos are not the same. The only similarity is the topic and the majority of the facts. Now let's address this. Topic. Does any one YouTuber own a topic? If so, any calisthenics channel that wasn't the first would simply be copying another channel. If so, any phone brand that wasn't Motorola, the first mobile phone, would be copying that phone. If so, any building that is a skyscraper would be copying another one. If so, any car, you get what I mean. Simply doing a video on genetics is not copying. If you think it is, I'm sorry to say this, but you're not very smart. Next, why do our videos have similar facts? Because they are both accurate. Surprise! If you made a video today explaining why the British love tea, and I made a video tomorrow without copying yours about the same topic, assuming neither of us is lying, both videos will have the same facts, or at least the majority of the same facts. Why? Because both videos are true. For example, there are two biological sexes. I'm not speaking about genders, I'm speaking about sexes. If you were to research why, and then I was to research why, we would both come to a similar understanding and conclusion because of XX and XY chromosomes. I can't make a video to claim that there are YY chromosomes because that is not true. The facts align because they are true facts. So, most of the facts both of us state are similar because neither one of us is lying, not because I'm copying. I promise you, if you do thorough research without watching my video or Team 3D Alpha's videos and you come to find scientific information, condensed it into a video and posted the video, your facts would be similar to the ones I stated. Did you copy me? No, your facts were aligned because they were true, as were mine. I literally tried my very best to avoid accusation by avoiding his videos full stop and I'm still being accused of copying. Now, after watching his videos to see the similarities, I can see that the accusers clearly are just hating. We state many different facts. I speak about slavery and Western or financial privilege. I speak about anatomy when it comes to West Africans. I include Central Africans and show an understanding that these genes are shared with Bantu people and descendants thereof, like Southern Africans. In fact, a subscriber even let me know that the Kenyan sprinter I mentioned is Bantu as well. Team 3D Alpha, from what I've seen, hasn't covered this. Not saying he doesn't know, he most likely knows, but he hasn't covered this. On his video on Polynesians, he states that they have a gene that helps them store fat. I have never heard of that in my research, therefore I never spoke about any such gene. Not to say it isn't true, simply to state the differences. And although fairly recently Team 3D Alpha made a video on South Asians, at the time of my video, he hadn't even made one. What, did I copy him from the future? Am I future trunks? Do you get it? I didn't copy him. So why do you delete comments accusing you? Because I don't want to give them my time of day trying to prove myself. Besides, you argue with one person, you get nowhere because there are at least 10 people commenting the same thing. Am I meant to respond to all of them? But that's why I'm making this video. Now, do I copy the Bioneer? No, 
I copied Jack's Blade. I even stated that in my anime videos. How dumb can you be? And yet again, that is why I delete these comments because they aren't based on any truth. If you really watch my videos, you would know that I took the anime X training idea from being inspired by Jack's Blade's Tough Like the Tunes that I started watching when I was 11 years old. I love Jack's Blade's channel. And I've taken inspiration from him. Why else do you think I do anime fitness at all? So for anyone to accuse me of copying the Bioneer just shows that you are just trying to hate, not trying to provide constructive criticism. Now I'm just going to put an excerpt of me actually referencing Tough Like The Tunes for the idiots who will try to claim that it isn't true. This is inspired by Tough Like The Tunes by Jack Splade. Jack Splade is the GOAT of this, of anime slash fitness. You know what I mean? Like he's amazing. So this is inspired of him. I like his workouts. I just started making my own kind version of Baki's workout. I'll also be making a workout of a lot of the anime characters that I like. And as well, the reason I delete these comments accusing me of copying the Bioneer, not just because it's not based on the Bioneer, but also they are literally just hate. The video they commented this on was my One Punch Man video. Every single YouTuber and your auntie has made a video on the One Punch Man training. Even Athlete X, I don't even think he watches anime, right? He literally said the One Punch Man training routine is killing your gains. Everyone has done a video on the One Punch Man training routine. The minute I make the video, you're like, oh, you copied this guy. At this point, you're actually mocking it. That's just to clear everything up. I block haters and delete their comments because I don't want to focus on them. I want a positive community where I focus on my genuine supporters, the people who genuinely care. That's who I do this for, not the haters. I have zero tolerance. Why? Because I don't need to tolerate it. My no nonsense block on site mentality comes from watching Sir Cruz. I used to watch his live streams when I was 16, back when Sir Cruz would say, Back then, I used to think, oh man, that's kind of harsh, but I get it. I get it. You know what I mean? The same goes here. So you can get a first class ticket to Block City if you want. Don't cry about it. If you don't like me, why do you care if you were blocked? Unless you're trying to get under my skin. Now to my supporters, I will continue to focus my attention on you guys and not pay attention to haters. I know many of you guys have told me to ignore the haters in the past, but I just had to make some things clear. I'm not going to keep responding to them. Trust me. All right, guys, spread the love, not the hate. Next time I'm going to drop a two punch my workout instead of a one punch my workout to avoid copying other people. I wipe before I poop to avoid copying other people. My mom had to ask permission before she can give birth to me because I didn't want to copy no one else. I didn't breastfeed because I didn't want to copy my siblings. I sleep with my eyes open because I don't want to copy no one else. I had to corner on my hair because I didn't want to copy Michael Jackson. I have to get plastic surgery because I don't want to copy Kendrick Lamar. I got rid of my twin brother because I didn't want to copy him. I breathe underwater because I don't want to copy other humans. I had to change my race because black people already exist. I drink boiled water, throw out ramen noodles and snort the seasoning because I don't want to copy anyone else. I have to snort protein powder instead of drinking it to avoid copying. I take pre-workout after the workout to avoid copying other people. I listen to Taylor Swift when I work out. I call Dwayne Johnson the pebble because I don't want to copy no one. I go to the barbershop and give my barber a haircut because I don't want to copy his other clients. I went down on one knee to file for divorce to avoid copying other people. I don't work out, I work in to avoid copying anyone else. I wear socks over my shoes to avoid copying. I went skydiving underwater to be unique. I got pregnant instead of my wife to avoid copying nature. I put the period before the sentence. I go to court and put the judge in prison to avoid copying. I put on my Marvel t-shirt just to watch Superman. I moisturize before I shower. I eat toothpaste and use the toothbrush to clean my back to avoid copying. I use my towel to floss my teeth. I use dandruff instead of chalk at the gym. I book a personal trainer just to critique his form to avoid copying his clients. I use a shoulder press machine for leg press to not copy others. I do bicep extensions and tricep curls to be different. I go to Nigeria for jollof even though they didn't make it to avoid copying. I skip arm day to avoid copying gym bros. I went to Spain to eat French toast.